In the footage, you can see the Sacred Arbor, which is an elf settlement. The elves there communicate in their own language. And while the Arisen doesn't understand the language of the elves, if there's a pawn nearby who does, they will automatically translate it for you. These specializations that pawns can acquire will make each of them more unique and hopefully more enjoyable to journey with. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. It's not only the pawn's personality that reflects the player. Just like in the first game, the player can freely create the arisen and the main pawn. However, we've used photogrammetry technology to increase photorealism, while adding a way to simplify the process of creating characters. Selecting images that resemble the kind of look you have in mind provides a more intuitive way to create your ideal character. Now, I want to introduce the Trickster, a new vocation that's sure to bring something unique to your gameplay experience. Exclusive to the Arisen, the Trickster is a vocation that wields the sensor and uses the smoke it produces to conjure illusions. By confusing the enemy into fighting themselves through illusions or increasing the power of pawns beyond the normal parameters for a limited period of time, this vocation focuses on support and use of unique strategies. The Trickster is a devious vocation that takes advantage of the enemy's enhanced behavior AI. It's a great fit for players who prefer to step back from the action and manipulate the battle from the sidelines.